Hello friends, I'm Deb with Cooking with Mo and Deb, and it is a fabulous Friday. So that means I have a fabulous freezer meal for you today. So let me make this for you really quick, and you're going to want to add it to your list of freezer meals. So it's a cube steaks with gravy. I've already got four cube steaks in my bag. Let me add two more. It, uh, the recipe calls for six cube steaks, and I'm using Ziploc bags. You'll want to use really good, strong uh, freezer bags. Let me wash my hands right quick, and we'll continue with our ingredients. <clears throat> now, the recipe calls for two cups of water. I decided I wanted to use two cups of chicken broth in mind. If you have beef broth, that would be good too. I just felt like that might add a little extra flavor to this dish. So I've got two cups of chicken broth to pour into my bag. Make sure you have your bag either in a bowl with the top of it turned back, the top of your bag turned back, or this is a bag holder You could, if you have one of these. Um, we're going to add one uh, sliced onion to the bag. And then we're gonna add one half of a cup of soy sauce. So you know this is gonna be good, it's got soy sauce in it, right? That's one half cup, all right. And then we've got <clears throat> two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. So let's add that. There's one. There's two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. We have some minced garlic. I am going with the jar kind today. Um, we're gonna add two teaspoons of minced garlic. Yeah, that, as Mo would say, that is a happy teaspoon. There's one. Let me add one more. I like garlic, in case you didn't know. All right, and then we're gonna add two teaspoons of uh, beef bouillon. I actually have the better than bouillon, and this is the uh, roasted beef base. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of this. Let me help that a little bit. There's one, and there is two, okay? Then we're gonna add a little bit of pepper. and a little bit of salt. You don't need a whole lot of salt. Your soy has salt in it. Uh, the one I used has salt, so we don't need a whole lot of salt. All right, that's all of the ingredients. So let's take our bag off of this stand, and move it out of the way. And you want to close your bag up with as little air as possible. So I'm gonna to try to get out some of this air, and you're just gonna to have to just go slow and try to remove the air as you go. And you're gonna to wanna to mix this up just a little bit like that. Okay? Now, <clears throat> when you're ready to cook this, you're gonna keep this in the freezer for no longer than um, three months. And when you're ready to cook your cube steaks and gravy, you can either cook it in your pressure cooker or in your slow cooker. If you cook it in a pressure cooker, you take it out in the morning of the day you're gonna cook it and unthaw it in the refrigerator. Add it to your pressure cooker pot and cook it on the beef setting, which is probably 20 to 23 minutes. Um, then you're gonna quick release and um, take the lid off and you'll take your steaks out so you can then make your gravy and you'll make a slurry with cornstarch and with um, water and put it into your gravy mix and cook it just till the gravy thickens. Add your steaks back, dinner is done. If you wanna cook it in the slow cooker, you can do it that way. You can put, after it unthaws, put it into your slow cooker for six hours. And after six hours, you'll do the same thing you would have done with the pressure cooker. Take the steaks out and put in your slurry of cornstarch and water. Stir it until it thickens, add your steaks back and dinner's done. And suggested servings to go with this, of course, mashed potatoes. You gotta have mashed potatoes with your gravy, right? and I would probably make some green beans. Um, make sure when you are preparing your meal that you write your dates. Today is 10, 27, 23. Put your date on your recipe. 
I always fold my recipe and put it into a bag because I like to keep the recipe with my freezer meal so that I'll know what it is in the freezer and I'll know when I put it in the freezer. So I like to store these together just like this and I put them into another bag to put into the freezer. Put them together and put them like this in the freezer. So we'll get the recipe and my steaks just like that. Again, you're going to want to get as much air out of this as possible. And there we have cube steaks with gravy for the freezer. I'll, I'll freeze it in the freezer and it'll be there for one of those days when I'm not wanting to think about what to have for dinner. It'll be something I can quickly grab and lay out the morning of cooking so that it'll be ready for when I come home to cook for dinner. There you go, your fabulous Friday freezer meal. Hope you've got a freezer full of meals. See ya.